Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here at MTK Scotland gym, but the house next door, yep. the title McKenna lives. Uh, What's happening? I'm good, mate. How are you? Good. You got, me, you got me up by the bed. Look at that. He's still in his jammies. Oh. Still in his jammies. <laughs> Roaring to go, <laughs> right, just, just couldn't wait to meet me. You had a good, good break off, didn't you? You enjoyed yeah, it? A long, a long six weeks. Gets very boring after a Um But I'm just happy to be back and be training full time again. Uh, except for. 2019. Big year ahead of you. You've, you've been two huge fights last year against yeah. two very, very good opponents. I'd say three big fights. Oh, I, 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 yeah, yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah, forgive fights. me, forgive me. Uh, yeah. So you're in three huge fights, two yeah. out of three you won. Yep. 2019, what are you looking for? Another big opponent or just want a nice, easy fight just to <laughs> get yourself back into it? No, do you know what? I want I want a big, ma- I want a massive name. Mm. And I was talking about management and that's what they're, they're trying to get for me. A huge name. But, uh, while they're doing that, obviously I still want to act. I want to get busy, so mm-hmm. hopefully I'll get on uh, a fight pretty quick, pretty quick, um, just to just to stay active. Well, then, I get, like I said, like after the, your last fight there, mm-hmm. when you were all bloodied and all that, I says you like a war. You yeah. you love a good scrap, and you I want do. to put it on for the the fans and all that. So going into two thousand nineteen, are you thinking I'm going to use my boxing skills? Yeah, I've been thinking about it. I was like, you know what? Because you're still a good looking man. Don't I know, you know, I know. Um, I'm always going to be pretty, but. You know, I think yeah, maybe maybe start boxing the back. And I, my whole amateur career, I was boxing the back foot, hands down, and that was my style, and, and it always worked for me. I think maybe start bringing that into it more. Obviously, still getting the tear up. I love entertaining the fans, and I love giving the fans what their money worth. Mm-hmm. So I still will love a war. And I always know I can do the war if I want if I want to go that way. But maybe I should start boxing a bit more if I want to. Want to have a brain at the end of the yeah, Well, that's very true. Yeah. So, why why have you been wanting to impress the fans or give give the fans a show so much? Because it's like you're always in a tear up. It uh, seems to me every time the last couple of fights I've watched you. I always go in. I go. I'm gonna box this game plan. <laughs> I have gone at box. Pass for the first five six rounds, and then maybe getting a wee slugfest. I go out now. Nah. nah, I want to fit. I, I just love fitting. What is it? Do you see? Is it just a red mist? No, it isn't. It isn't. You don't know what I'm doing. No. It's not a red mist. I just go, ah, oh, scrap up. I just love fitting. I don't. I love getting hit. I love throwing back and hurt me. I love. I just love it. I love blood pouring over. I love everything about it. You love the taste of your I, blood. I'd hate to be out of a fight. I'm a face look normal. <laughs> I love being out of fights and my face is fucking him like fuck. He, had a, he was in a war and yeah. everyone's good pictures going fuck me out with some fight and stuff. I'd hate to be in a boring fight and afterwards known saying, oh, I was a brilliant fight to watch and I can't wait to sit in your next one. See, see after the kind of fights that I have, the amount of people want to sponsor me or want to to get pictures of me or get me down their business or, or buy tickets of me the next time, it's, it's, it's insane the fan base I'm getting to. I wouldn't say that's just because of that. Again, you're a good talker as well. You're, yeah. you're, you're, you're charismatic. You, you wear crazy clothes sometimes. You wear sunglasses in the winter. I mean, you, do, you do all this crazy stuff that the fans love. So I know that. that as well. I've got a cult, cult following nowadays. <laughs> do we select crazy you shirts? Heavy. They're asking me where, where to get shirts. They're asking me fashion tips. I've, I've didn't think I would ever happen in, in my career. Fashion but tips. Fashion from tips. who? Ah, there's nothing. Like, <laughs> what these shirts? I can't give it, give away where my shirts are from. But but yeah, you know what? I love the fans and I always want to give them what what they want um, but maybe they are too much maybe it should be be sticking the box a bit more I mean I've got Danny shouting at me all the time because because I'm not sticking the box and see if you watch my spawn it's completely different in my mm. fights again well you're probably are you out in Belfast the the whole show in March it was, is that it's a possibility oh the, the Glasgow one I'm not too sure Annie's a possibility I mean I just want to have you got a date for your next fight or is it still open Okay, okay, maybe something big in the pipeline, but we'll keep it going. Really, some, something big, hopefully. Uh, so my next question was going to be: after those three opponents you, f- you fought in 2018, what, who's on the hit list? Like, how, what names is that? There? I know you, you mentioned O'Hara Davis yeah. on numerous occasions. I love the punch they had O'Hara Davis. Next. You've got your, your gym mate Sam Maxwell, who's about to fight him. Probably Sean McCall wants to fight him. Honest, O'Hara needs me more than I need him more. I'm doing him a favour when he fights me. Mm-hmm. He's the fan base is lacking seriously. His last fight was the most boring fight of twenty eight or twenty eighteen. He's he doesn't mouth anymore on, on social media, so no one's paying attention to him anymore. Um, he's become irrelevant, mm-hmm. and I'm the only one keeping him relevant. 
and he should appreciate that. He should be begging to fight me because I'm the only man that can give him the platform that he wants. He, he's, he's a relative of mine, no encouragement. See the big big hitters in, in, the, in the UK, no one is talking about him. Mm-hmm. Cause, cause he's irrelevant. He's got he has no, that name though, isn't he's he? Got, yeah. He's got no belts. He's got a name because everyone doesn't like him. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've got a name because I'm loved. <laughs> uh, he must be jealous. That, that's why he hates me so much. So would that be a fight you're entertaining? Hundred percent. Yeah. It's a fight I want. I've always wanted. I want to put him in retirement, and I think me beating him puts him into retirement, and then no one has to hear about what our babies anymore. And again, we'll just jump on from that. Uh, again, I think a couple of interviews ago when I've interviewed you, you mentioned. You, you want to fight for titles. Yep. 2019, is this what's going to happen? This is going to be my 20th fight. There should be a title coming on anytime <laughs> soon, shouldn't there? What title are you after? Is it just one of the... the I, know, is I, just, I actually don't care about titles. Uh, everyone always says to me, oh, you need titles, you need titles. What's a title? I I want names. I want... I want well, to... I'll put this to you. Titles is something you can show you. You can show them the money. Force. You can show them fights. No, that's true. And uh, the big names, and I, I, I just obviously it's nice to fight for a title, mm-hmm. but would I rather fight someone low class for a title or a big massive name for no title? I'd always choose the big massive name, the big war, the big hard fight. Um, there, that's what entertains me and what excites me the most. So, mm-hmm. so if a title comes with it. I do want titles, obviously, at the end of the day, but there are big names. So, can you give me a big name then, other than Howard Davis? You know me. I take, as I've said on it all the time, O'Hara Davies, Victor Postle, I've seen Robert Davies Jr. and Fing Satan, Joe. Joe Money, yeah. Joe, Joe Shoes. Joe Shoes, uh, So, I'd love the winner of that. I mean, I'd love, I just want big names, a big face, and big wars. That's actually, that's actually a. a, a uh, yeah. The winner of uh, Hughes and yeah. Davis Jr. would be a good I, fight. I like Robbie Davis Jr. I think he wins against Hughes. Um, I mean, I talk to him now and again, um, but I would love to fight him. It would be a brilliant fight, I think. I mean, I like, the fans. Yeah, the super lightweight division is absolutely yeah. stacked domestically as well. I mean, like, I've, again, I've touched on it before. You've got three views in this, this camp alone. No, you, insane. Sean McComb, it's, Sam Maxwell. So, how, how, again, I should have really asked Danny this question, but how do you match? How does he match you three knowing that you're in the same division and mm. you are all what the same opponent and the Which I, I think it's just lucky that yeah. we're in different levels. Mm. Like uh, but they're quickly catching up, which is <laughs> which is brilliant. But obviously I'm not not be able I'm up there, Sam's creeping up. He's he's looking like a he's one of the big big domestic fit, like say uh him and Nikim Brown or something big brilliant mm. or or even easy to see he's calling out O'Hara Davies as well. Mm. It is weird that we're calling out the same people, but uh, you know, it's just boxing at the end of the day. Um, I don't think we'll ever fight each other. Well, I was going to ask to see if something goes wrong in this house. I mean, this must be hard living in a house for like uh, five boxers trying to make weight. Do you know what I mean? Ah, uh, way, 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 week isn't great. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so what happens if one of you falls out, like, and then he gets pissed off and goes to another camp and then there, he calls you out and then... There has been a few, well, I don't know, there has been a few fits. Do you know what, we don't really fight in here. Yeah. Nah. We're so all best friends. Well, I'm mostly just bully Paddy. <laughs> and then that's easy enough, isn't it? He, he falls over, he cracks up in a room. But that's Paddy Warren's. Are you living in Irish as well, or is that something... Uh, see, I wasn't... I wasn't a start obviously, he was getting filmed, learning Irish and mm-hmm. stuff, and Sean McComb, he's fluent. Um, so he got brought on to help, like, on that film, mm-hmm. to help, uh, to help Paddy learn it. And then they came and met me and they licked me and they said, ah, oh, well, do you want to learn a few words as well and try and do this over for you? And I said, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll do it, so. Can you give me a little bit? Nah, it's Mr. Tyrone. Uh, what else? My name is Tyrone. Or we're Pint it. Would you like a paint? <laughs> you got that? Kale- Kalesh and Boita, who's round is it? <laughs> I haven't seen See how we go, see we go to a bar? <laughs> I am fluent now. You need to learn me that, you to teach me that, so next time I go to the <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. That's it. Uh, Again, so 2019, what can the fans expect from you, mate? Because, again, you're always in a good walk, but can yeah. they expect much of the same? Much of the same, but you know what? I think they're going to see a big improvement. Mm-hmm. Actually, do you know what? Not even that. The bigger the name, the better I box as well, because mm-hmm. I can get up for it more. Mm-hmm. So, I know I'm going to be boxing massive fights this year, so I think I'll be up for it. And I'll be bringing serious, serious... Like, I'll be training very, very, very hard for it. We're doing every night, dad, weights, the running, everything, getting up early in the morning. Um, which domestic fights don't have me out of bed. 
mm. that bore me. And I, I must be hand having the gym, like literally. Ah, it's, it's, it, people won't know, but literally, you just take one step outside, yeah. turn left, and it that's is good. the gym. So. It is good, but, and it's good just, just for food and all. And, like as soon as you're finished, you can go right back to bed, like rest up or, or get mm. your food in you and shower and stuff. It's 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 perfect. And if you say you want to do, we don't have to all have to do our sessions at the same time. Say Trump colleague, he wants to run now, so mm. he's went when he's done his run. I can do my run later, but it's nice. Well, you're way. definitely going to do your run later because you're still in your jammies, mate. So, I know. and you've got odd socks on as well, man. What's going on? It's not like odd socks. <laughs> well, I have a coffee like that. Look, Meh. Look, look at this man. This is what he's still in his Santa Claus after Christmas. Odd socks. A I, fleece. You, you can't beat this wee jammy <laughs> top. It is great. But do you know what? My man bought me, went out and purposely bought me odd socks, are called. And it's just loads of socks that are odd. Really? Because. That's see, that, that's, see, odd socks sums you up perfectly. No, no, that's me. That's you to a T. Odd. Odd. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Again, the fans can expect much of the same this year. Yeah, Titles and all it's, the rest of it. Do you know what? I'm very, very excited. Just, even for our whole team. Mm. I mean, Sean comes going to be on the cusp of a, a title soon. Sam's. It's a big year for you all because Paddy's probably, he can probably get an honorable title shot this year. Uh, title yeah. colours ranked in one of the highlights. He's calling out world title. Yeah. For word titles, uh, Sam is is beating, going to beat everyone. He's beat everyone, everyone up at the minute, and he's not going to door for titles. Sean McComb. So this this week camp's buzzing at the minute, and uh, I think by the summer you're going to see world champions and and European people will, champions are, that, yeah. everywhere, and it's going to it's going to be insane. I've got to ask you because I'll probably be stupid if I don't ask you. I interviewed Lewis Benson, your yep. last opponent, but I'm not going to talk about that fight and all that sort of stuff. But he mentioned like an eight man tournament yep. within the, the super lightweight MTK yeah. sort of stable. What, what's your thoughts on that? Do you know what? It does sound good, you know, but there's actually something already going on, like mm. that. Yeah, you know, you no, not that, not that. The thing that's going way on the radar, uh, what's that called? It's in Manchester. It's a weight above, well, oh, it's like... Oh, the uh, off boxer. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so that's already getting done. Yeah. No one gives one fuck about it, yeah. so... Probably wouldn't give a fuck about it. Because <laughs> they're all on the feeder fighters, finish her. I haven't heard one thing about it. Mm -hmm. So... Even the World Series is, is, isn't getting the crowds in, but... I don't know. It, it does sound nice. That's a good, good idea, but... It does but sound again. nice, but... If you do, if you put in the list that uh, you put in, I already put two of them. Yeah. So one of my in semi finals. <laughs> but the thing is, I guess so hard Davies now going to the final. I'm not going to mention it, but you seem like you've got a big fight lined up because you're not going to, you're not saying much to me, but I'm not going to press you on it. But you've already it seems to me that yeah, you're you're aiming higher than that already. I uh, know I've I've massive I've hopes of a, a massive fight happening. Uh, yeah, just hope it happens. Mm. I hope. Something big happens at the minute, but uh, I'm I'm sitting tight. Sitting um, tight. Nothing you can mention on AFL TV. No. Yeah. No. Well, there you go. Then I'll end it there. Then <laughs> uh, again, everyone, thanks for this AFL TV, and it's always good to catch up with you, yep. man. Yes. Yeah, man. See you soon, buddy. See ya.